Hey guys, so what's up? Aheckwin2 here with another MX vs. ATV Reflex Custom Track Review. Today we are taking a look at the 2016 Anaheim 1 replica made by KTM 6060. Uh, he made quite a few of the replicas in 2016, so this is the 2017 replica. I think I may have said 16, I apologize if I did. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, second track to be released. Uh, this one is a little bit delayed, They wanted to, uh, he wanted to get it out earlier. But um, he, uh, the stadium took him forever apparently because it's a custom stadium. It is the Anaheim Stadium. So, yeah, this is a uh, the track is pretty fun. Um, I like riding it, <coughs> and uh, I, uh, I've been able to contest for some of the fastest lap times on the track so far. So that's pretty fun. I enjoy riding it. I don't mind riding it for a long period of time. Um, it definitely gets interesting and it gets difficult because uh, the roughness uh, it gets pretty tore up pretty quickly even with just one guy on it um, replica wise it's not very good because uh, it's just hard to explain but uh, for this year it seems like the guys uh, that are making the track are going less for realism and more for being fun which I understand, this is a video game, it's not a simulator, it's more of an arcade game. You play it to have fun, so you don't want to be maybe stuck doing the lines that the guys IRL are doing. Um, but yeah, the, the rhythm sections, you can hit them way bigger than you could in real life. And everything just kind of seems small and scaled small. Um, which is actually more realistic, uh, being having a tighter racetrack, but the jumps being so close that's not so realistic but you know like I said they were going more uh, going more for fun style rather than realism which is alright you know um, having fun in the game is more important than maybe having a completely realistic track alright hit this jump um, but the uh, track is built pretty well uh, the berms hold you really really good you almost almost too good the point of where you don't even have to get off the gas at all. Uh, these ruts hold you really well, uh, also. And uh, it's just a really nice looking track. Like the, the textures look nice, the track itself looks nice, and the, of course the stadium looks nice because it was custom and it took quite a while to finish it, but it does look good. And uh, the track itself, it's not too terribly difficult to ride is probably another reason why I like it. Um, I was able to get on here and find like a flow to it pretty quickly and figure out the fast lines. On um, this next rhythm section I'm pretty sure you can hit a ginormous line if you're able to get the exact line. Um, I'll go ahead and try it next lap but I'll doubt I'll get it because I still haven't even gotten it in single player. But yeah, This should be a pretty decent lap. The fastest I've gotten is a 55.35 uh, actually and there's another 55. <laughs> right there and uh, that's the fastest I've seen so far I'm sure Merlin is gonna beat that because uh, I did not hit a ginormous rhythm that I'm gonna try to show this lap so um, I doubt I'll show it but yeah the rest of this track pretty much you hit it the same um, these bales if you touch them you will most likely die so I would avoid touching those at all costs um, I like how we made kind of like a rut along the inside of the whoop section. Uh, that rut wasn't there, like the uh, ruts in the corners weren't necessarily there in real life, except for this upcoming corner, which actually doesn't have a rut, ironically, in the game. But, um, like the ruts in the corners weren't there in real life, but it's kind of nice to have that option in the game, especially for battling. Now the huge line I'm talking about here is you'd actually jump all the way over this, like little hip jump, like try to quad that. Um, that would be like a really fast line, I think, maybe save a second or two. Um, I'm not 100% sure, so I have not been able to hit it clean. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the 55 that I was able to turn down, show you guys a decent lap around the track. And as you can see, the ruts are forming pretty quickly, and these uh, triples are a lot of fun too, because you can really whip them out and scrub them really good. And even this rut out here, uh, this outside berm, it holds you pretty well. 
Um, the sand, you pretty much want to go to the inside, but that is, there's an option there to jump to that outside. And you can actually probably quad quad this if you uh, hit that outside perfectly, which I have not yet. So let's go ahead and see if I can uh, try to hit this line. And so you'd quad all the way to the inside there, but that's what happens to me every time as I come up a little short, get reflexed, and then go shooting off the track. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, thanks uh, to KTM6060. Um, I apologize. I assume Dark Sides made the bump maps, but if not, I apologize. And I'm pretty sure uh, most, almost all the uh, objects are custom. So I appreciate uh, definitely you guys putting work into this track and getting it out for us to ride and enjoy. So make sure to go on Reflex Central and check the track out if you haven't already. Come up to your own conclusions about it and uh, talk to you guys in the next video.